Well, if right of negation comes, right of negation comes! If they've got it in hand, they've got it in hand, so I would I need to start to get rid of their rights of negation anyway. <laughs> that's that's what I'm looking at. If we hit a right of negation, we had to hit right of negation anyway. So that's not bad. That's not bad because everyone is gonna be going up. Oh, so I believe this should be their lethal because we've, we've got the damage coming in off of Tristana. Elusiveness coming in. Hello everyone, Gomez here for the Land Up channel with another deck for you today. This one, the Give em Impact deck, which is actually a deck I did that was given to me when I was streaming by Unhitful Yoda or Unhelpful Yoda. They go by like oh, two different names, but this was the deck that they gave me. They, they pitched me the idea and I loved it so much. So because of the, late, the latest patch notes whereby they changed it to do with sharing uh, impact, or something to do with like sharing the keyword of impact, uh, the, the, which they've, they've changed the way that happens. It actually makes this deck far more interesting and viable. So the idea of this deck is using cards like Tenor of Terror uh, to be able to, or even like a Tristana once she levels all the multi-region cards that you then play from, like say, like a going in with the, the Hungry Owl, which is the Owl Cat and whatnot. Uh, all the impact that you end up on the board, you will be using Give It All, because like even if you use one Tenor, you're giving everything on the board impact for two and they which and then it's also giving them impact for free i believe because they get one extra than everyone else because it re-gives them back their impact again because obviously they're sharing the word impact because impact is a stackable keyword they're getting it again which it, from themselves so it's a really funny deck because of that fact because of the stackability of impact and giving it all um this deck also because it's running um elusive cards like Poro, which it Poro Cannon and it's running uh, the, the Band of Commander, it is helping us out in terms of the fact that you can even just win, not but you don't have to worry about going down the 100% impact route, you can also go down the elusive route. I said like a, the, the, when I was pitched this idea, the idea was to get down two Tenor of Terrors, meaning that there was four impact units on the board, and then using this, so you're giving everyone else four impact while the others end up with five impact. And it just seemed like a, too funny that I just, I like that would be lethal on its own i believe which is if there was uh, all four of them on the board then you used it but this was just like you know amazing every is which every aspect of this deck has been worked out perfectly so really well done to unhitful yoda i only made like one change to the deck i believe from what i can remember on the stream because they had treasured trash in the deck and i ended up throwing in another hidden pathways but other than that everything in this deck is spot on it's working with tristana which, which tristana then eventually ends up giving people uh, like multi-region units impact anyway so it's more impact to shell but also with lulu on here and we're running um pnz for the widget for the give it all we've got the the flame chompers aspect in here whereby we've got the discard cards for draw and whatnot but the flame chompers with lulu the challenge unit with that it's just it's just devastating like it's already been proven like lulu with like a, these kind of challenge bots and whatnot can be very impactful to the game in terms of like removing things from your opponent's side like the backliners and that so really powerful as well as lulu with elusives as well ends up working out quite well the funny thing is like you don't really have to make sure that you're keeping her alive because the whole idea is that you're going to be going for this give it all some people actually fall for the ruse of thinking that lulu's actually important in this deck and actually kill her because they think oh my god it's lulu with flame chompers we've got to kill her and then it turns out that you need to go ah, you thought that was my plan and you give it all and you give everyone impact slash uh potentially elusive so really really funny deck and uh, really i said that's like, massively well put together by unhitful slash unhelpful yoda so that is the deck that we have for you today uh, as i was saying like this was on stream this deck was shared to me while i was streaming so shameless plug time Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. You can catch me over on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Which, if you want to show me your deck ideas as well, like there's always the chance for you to do so on there or in the Discord as well. So links are all down you like by the side so if you've got a deck that you want to share in the discord i'd love to see it in there because i do go through the discord quite a lot like i check in on people's decks anything interesting that i really decide to explore for a video like I, most of the time i do end up making videos crediting obviously the person who created it so if that sounds like fun as well as the lovely community that we're building there like how i want to be building a lovely legends of return community where we can all talk together play together and have good times talking about playing together we are running a which are the me and janky from voices of the old ones are running a tour 
tournament, an EU Shard tournament on the 2nd and 3rd of October. So if you want to get involved with that and be in a chance uh, to win some of the money, which is the £150 prize pool, why not consider getting involved in that if you're in the EU Shard? Like, uh, hopefully we'll be running a North American one or um, like the other regions ones at some point. I can't guarantee that, but we're hoping to do that. Uh, so if that sounds like fun, like uh, more reasons to get involved in the Discord, as well as if you enjoy yourself at any point during this video, why not consider hitting that subscribe button? But don't feel forced. These are the options that are available to you. So let's get in and see how this deck did in a couple of matches. <laughs> Turn one, Urchin into Flame Chompers. No one ever expects it. But the noise that I know that I've got this. I now just have to find my tenors. I need to find my impact unit. That's what it's all about. We're against Pink Viego, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's hard enough to accomplish what the witch the uh, level three, level three Egyptian gods. Okay. Then no. I don't mind sacrificing Urchin if they go forward with this. I doubt that they do, but if they were to go forward, I, I wouldn't say no to sacrificing Urchin. You best believe okay. I don't play. I know that I could have gone with uh, Pyro Cannon to also make this cost. You must! I'll throw one of these out. Because that way I've got the I've got the defense against both of them. Ooh, Lulu started to come into effect with Flame Chompers. I mean, I want to throw down Maya. I want to throw down Maya because then Maya just makes like this cost zero. Oh, we... oh. They they do run. Um, let's face it, Viego, Atrocity, and um, watch it. Uh, the why why can't I feel the tab there with the Hydra Vine thing? Um, are all quite high cost cards. We need to accept the one damage. But yeah, they're all like quite highly costed cards. So the idea, the idea of potentially removing one of those. Because Viego could be in hand. I, I, I want to play Lulu for the support beam, but not like so much who wants to play this. Okay. We made it. Just to go. But our stuff did it. Hydra Vine! There we go. So one Hydra Vine down. What's that noise? I can consider playing Lulu. Uh, Lulu. I, I can't protect her with Pokey Stick. Like, if I. It, it, this is funny because this is the perfect board for Lulu to protect her with Pokey Stick. But at the same point, I've not got the man to throw down Lulu and throw down Pokey Stick at the same time. So, sadly, I kind of just have to accept accept it like this. I would accept the owl, the widget, the owl cat dying because I'm making more owl cats. So, I'm fine with it. This is still dying. This is leaving you into vile, uh, vile feast territory. But I'm I'm willing to accept. Potentially, we see Death Mark come down, and Death Mark come down on the Mayor. I, I would, I imagine the Mayor gets hit, or even one of my elusives, because they currently okay. Yeah, they go for the Mayor. <laughs> the Mayor, it makes sense. If only I could kill the Mayor. Okay. I mean, he's already dead. I'm looking at this, thinking that we're getting close here. I really want to get the. Um, I really do want to get the another impact because the whole idea of this deck is to go with the impact move. But if I don't find the impact move, I might just have to go with wherever I find and accept. Accept the consequences. I, <laughs> I go forward with the spider. <laughs> Your move, Yugi. <laughs> Oh my god, it is actually. I go forward with the spider. Your move, Yugi. Um... Okay. I do this. I'm considering Maya. Of course. Um... I'm considering Maya into hopefully one, one form of impact would be nice. It's like 
Oh, this is four impact, but it, it requires... <sniffs> My problem is, I want to put you onto the board, but I want something that's going to go onto the board this turn so I can open with this. They could have deny. Bear in mind that my opponent can very easily have deny. And I would have loved to have had more impact on the board. But I'm going to go for the big ass. Like, I, I know that they're playing Ionia, so deny is a factor. Deny is a factor, but I'm still going to go with this. Even giving impact to the whole board and giving elusive to the whole board and also spell shield. I'm more than willing to go with that because at least th this guy would get double. Mmm, prepare for trouble. Oh, it's making double! So the impact that was lost still gets gained back onto this man as the whole board gets given impact. I'm okay with this. As the whole board goes full elusive, you get elusive, you get elusive, but also spell shields and impact all the way with the elusiveness and the fact that we can throw that like Lulu can make somebody be a four attack unit rather than a three attack unit. It's kind of done at this moment in time. It's kind of done. A uh, shadow vote to my opponent. Really well played. We immediately go forward, and that is. Boom, a lot of damage hitting in there elusively. <laughs> Shadow mode to Viego. Really well played to my opponent, by the way. Uh, atrocity. I mean, atro atrocity <laughs> from Viego could come out. Wouldn't kill me, but... I mean, they couldn't have it. They didn't have seven mana, but you never know. Like, in terms of as a counterplay, <laughs> as a counterplay to that move, they couldn't have killed two elusives, though. But Shadow mode to my opponent. Really well played to them there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll get rid of these two for the time being. I'm weirdly keeping Tristana, even though I've not got too many things which are working with her, but I guess I've got more things that work with her slightly now. So, I go with the timelines, and then that means that... Because the thing of it is that once, once Zaraf goes into level 3, he no longer gives a crap about landmarks anymore. But with that predict... To be able to help maybe get into stuff which is going to count down this a little bit more. Maybe that's more the reason why this is a thing. So Zaraf, not Zaraf, sorry, Zillion comes down. I wish I had the Band of City Mayor right now myself. <laughs> there was me saying about how, oh, Band of City Mayor. I mean, I could play, um, uh, yeah. I could have considered the Aloof Traveler. Because I don't exactly know how their deck is built on whether or not they do run like one copy of Ascendance Rise or something to very quickly level up uh, their boy. Oh well, damn, we'll take this. Ten up. I could go for Looming Telescope into more, like, I could get like an insane value. But what I'm looking for is trying to create as much impact on the board as possible and then give it all. Like that's the quicker I can do that, the better. <laughs> I can also potentially throw down an elusive unit as well. So I kind of need Heart of the Cards to give me... Um, what's his face at this moment in time? Like, I really need Heart of the Cards to give me the... Um, give it all. That is the card that I'm massively after. I go forward there just in case they're going to get one of their time bombs. This is going to die next turn anywhere if they do manage to predict into one of their time bombs. Time marches on. Time is winding. Like a <laughs> okay. So I can throw down Tenor. Okay. Potentially quick attack. Okay. I really need to hope I find give it all. Like Palm is considering going for hidden pathways, but that's fine. If you want to take, if you want to take the uh, the Lumen Telescope, go for it. Enjoy yourself. Okay. So Z Zaraf is basically going to be leveled up, right? Sing with the doctor. 
Okay. Now, if I could find Give It All, the impact on this ball would go insane. It's because I know that I've got another, like, impact thing here. That's why I'm less worried. I guess I go forward with Telescope yet again in case they've found a time bomb. Try to cause some significant issues. Yeah. Knowledge that I've got another one, so I said um, I'm less worried. I should maybe be a little bit more worried than what I'm being. I'm being a bit cavalier here, but still. Go forward like this. Devastating maneuvers. But uh, how about would you? How about the balance patch? Or like, how, how do you, you know about balance patch? I mean, because they they told us they told us that the balance patch was next going to be in October. Like that's. Uh, news they gave us a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. But I definitely remember seeing posts on Reddit about it and whatnot that we're supposed to be getting it then. Go like this. Okay. I'm considering, like, yeah, so this is going to be coming down. So we're already losing you, you, you. Still got some impact units. I'm massively considering playing Tristana here. Tristana potentially into Lulu. So. Tristana potentially into Lulu. I mean, they can grab. They can grab it because this, this tether's not going to die on his own. <laughs> so they can go for grabbing that. My board. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Okay. I'm still hoping that hard the cards will draw me. I'm still hoping that hard the cards will draw me. Ah, oh, give it. Okay, right, right. So, if only I could play you. I've got two impact on the board. Okay. I'm looking at this thinking, I've got to give it all. They could have right of negation. They could have right of negation, aren't they? Well, if right of negation comes, right of negation comes! I've got to go. Right of negation is the most likely thing that could happen to me. But if they've got it in hand, they've got it in hand. So I would, I need to start to get rid of their rights of negation anyway. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm looking at. If we hit a right of negation, we had to hit right of negation anyway. So that's not bad. That's not bad because everyone is going to be going up. Oh, so I believe this should be their lethal because we've, we've got the damage coming in off of Tristana. Elusiveness coming in as well. Shadow mode. Shadow mode to my opponent. Really well played. I'm going to keep the hand. <laughs> I'll keep the hand, then massively regret all the decisions of keeping the hand. Because what I'm going to say is like a flash bombs. They're going to do damage to our, our stuff, which is going to mean that um, it opens the door to Scorched Earth. Oh, wait. It opens the door to Scorched Earth. The cars like that. This mama is the beast mama. Tough places bring tough people. I need to consider to myself, do I... I'd rather keep the elusive alive. Because obviously I could just do a straight up trade. But I'd rather try and keep the elusive alive. Pokey stick into frame down baboon into next turn urchin Lulu. News from the undercity shift detectives. But they are now starting to but they are now starting to get the um what's his face is it on? I mean maybe I could have thrown down the baboon first. Okay. Throw down this. Bear it in mind that I am gonna be drawing. So draw 
we do this, which gives me another. Job. <laughs> I've been lucky on this flash bomb so far. Okay, go into this, and then potentially Lulu to be able to uh, use the flame chompers. So. Here's my calling card. Okay. We Lulu into flame chompers to try and kill Caitlyn. Okay. It means that we are we are leaving ourselves with a lot of flash bombs in the deck and a lot of things which don't have a lot of health. Okay. Oh, how have we not hit a How have I not hit a single flash bomb yet? <laughs> what is happening? It, we like theoretically we should have hit a flash, but like you know you normally see like it's gonna be next turn we're gonna have like all six on one hit, aren't we? Okay. Potentially they could throw down Swain. I need to think to myself that I could. So what I could do is throw down Elusive and go over give it all move. That is actually an option. So potentially Bandle City. Actually no, because I want to. Which I want to make sure I've got mana, don't I? So because we would need to have at least two mana. As much as he does not want to get rid of a mayor, I'm going to get rid of a mayor here. And obviously there are flash bombs that could come for me. Part of me's like, do I want to leave one of you back? Okay. So, there are a lot of problems I could encounter. Mostly, them killing Lulu, because Lulu's my biggest health stat that is involved here. We made it. They get rid of one of them. I've got all three of them in hand. <laughs> ah! Okay. They can still remove Lulu. <laughs> Which, if they remove Lulu, ruins the whole plan. But Louie did not get hit, so they've got Scorched Earth. They can still get excited. They can still have um, a number of things. Yep, 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 yep. So, not ideal. <laughs> not ideal, but I still have got <laughs> two free priests in the elusive slot. <laughs> okay. Not the best. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Uh, but I can at least increase this damage. <laughs> I can at least increase this elusive damage. <laughs> it's more about trying to force them to use their, up the resources that they're using right now. So, the fact that I've not hit many flash bombs. I mean, I've hit a few, but I've not hit many. I'll take this. I could have whimsied, I guess. Whimsy would not have been the worst plan to go with. We are I, I feel like I want to go in for another give it all move. <laughs> Weirdly. Like, go go as wide as possible. I can sit like, I mean, I know that they could flash bomb and, and cause issue. Intel looks good. Affirmative. Okay, so they're going to force me to get rid. So they're going to force me to get rid. Actually, no, they can't because it's five, five mana. Okay. I'll get rid of this start it peak. Not Lulu! Um. So I could consider. It is, it is gonna be all of my mana next turn. Because next turn I'm gonna be on eight mana. So it is gonna be all of my mana next turn. Four in the deck. I could hold this back to throw this out again next turn. They're probably going to force me to draw 
It's going to go directly into my turn, so it's going to go directly into my move. So they're probably going to force me to draw with this. Not ideal, and I would love to throw Tenor down for the move that I want to do, but Sonic, we go with this again. So they can kill Lulu, potentially like, very quickly. Um, I've got to go with this. It's the best, it's the best move that I've got. So I will go. I go, I go, that's fine. Lulu dies. Lulu dies, but the rest live. <laughs> and through living, we've got a lot of damage coming in elusively. I would love to have had the impact involved, but I just couldn't. I didn't have, I didn't have the opportunitas. Okay. And they're playing quite- Shadowmon to my opponent! <laughs> really well played! No one ever expects- <laughs> No one ever expects to give it all maneuvers. <laughs> I swear that we just keep- I mean, but this one's not actually a full-on Shirima list. This does have Bandle City as well. So potentially Shell Folk for those predicts. And also landmarky stuff. Okay. I keep his hand. I've got, like, Urchin. Who, if I throw down the baboon, I can, like, discard. I'm willing to accept. So, baboon. I really wish I was going turn two. When I say that, all I would have done was throw down the baboon. <laughs> it wouldn't have made any change to my game plan at all. So, I could consider throwing down telescope. Next turn into baboon. I would love to have Lulu out with Flame Chompers, but I can't do all the moves, sadly. Unless I could top deck uh, Poro Cannon. If I top deck Poro Cannon, then I'm laughing, but I have to do that, which is a big ask of my deck. Ha, I got an idea. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw down the boom ba boom, and I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my faith in the heart of the cards that I'm gonna top deck Poro Cannon. I believe in the heart of the cards. Ah, screw you, heart of the cards. <laughs> I, I still, I've still got like you know, Urchin into Fimjigi, uh, so I'll throw down the Telescope first, and then we've got Urchin, Urchin into Flame Chomper. So. It's, it's still not like the worst move, but I would have loved it if we could have got that going. Especially with Zillion here in the fold. The idea of flying down flame chompers to be able to um, grab Zillion would have been amazing. Okay. We already got Scrappy Bomb. Gonna be doing one damage to my core next turn. So we've got lo lots and lots and lots of issues. Da 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 la da. Da 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 la da da la da 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 la da. The knowledge of time bombs, anything with one health just immediately has to go out. Send it! Send it! Yeah, just, uh, anything with one health just immediately has to go out. Because you know that they can just get removed very easily next turn. Okay. I'm going to throw down Lulu. I was thinking, like, do, do I want to throw down Lulu or do I want to throw down... So... It's weird that the, this he he would make himself be able to do that, but obviously I don't have the ability to get him out this easily. Uh, Bandle City. Nothing will stand in my way. Bandle City Mayor. I'm weirdly considering Lulu. Lulu to counter him. Because. As much of me doesn't want this to happen, I am willing to accept Zaraph dying for a Lulu trade because my deck is more about the impact. This is a nice little sideline with um, Flame Chompers and Lulu to do magnificent trades. But I still feel like Zaraph, with, with him having nowhere protecting himself, I don't mind doing that trade. Okay. Go Battle City Mail. 
more tenor. This requires my largest official, this requires my largest official hat. Okay. I am looking to give it all now. I could consider um, throwing down this. Not the mayor! He didn't deserve this! Double pokey stick. So, I'll go with you yet again because time bomb could be a thing. So throwing down telescope just makes me think that you're immediately going to regret that decision because that's when... That's when the time bomb goes down and immediately kills this. Okay. Starting to think about throwing a Tenor down. Tenor is the immediate level up on Tristana as well. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal at all. I guess you're going to have to take one for the team, Hungry Owlcat. <laughs> Gonna have to take one for the team. Because I guess I can throw down Hungry Owl Cat, throw down Looming Telescope, and still throw down Tristana. That'd be the level up on her, meaning that when we throw the Tenors down, uh, they're gonna get an additional impact off of being thrown down. And I thought there was something good okay. to see. Ugh, this girl is you do the risk, Owl! Do I? We do. Make cookies. Yeah, solid. Solid, solid, solid. I might end up regretting that because I'm I'm putting my elusive in pokey stick range, but they've used double. <laughs> they've already used two of them. Okay. Throw down you. So. I know there are significant things they could have, but we're going to throw Tenor down. Tenor down, give him double impact. Really wish I had other moves with me, 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 me. Okay. Telescope. Oh, the th is that, I, I feel more at risk because my opponent is doing nothing. Potential stuns. If they've got... Um, let's face it, this deck is going to be running Arsenal. They're most likely going to have Spell Shield. But in case they don't have Spell Shield... Loud and loud. Okay. You again? Oh, that is actually going to be a kill, actually, I think. Is it, is it, what is the plus stats on this? Plus three. That is actually going to be a kill because of the quick attack. Yeah, so because of the quick attack, that comes in and actually kills her, which is a shame because obviously we had other tenors that we could have added more impact to. But I have to accept. I have to accept the move, Shuki. Really well played. Like, good use of, like, using my quick attack against me. Which obviously you see a lot happen in the labs, but you don't see it happen a lot in the actual game itself. But obviously it happens a lot in the labs if ever you face um, the Scar Grounds. Scar Grounds one. Nicely done to my opponent. Really well played there. Still not finding my give it all. They've not actually found, so they've not got their arsenal yet. Which is nice for me to see that they've not got their arsenal yet. Pokey stick coming down. Not killing the elusive, which is actually more interesting to me, because that's their third pokey stick. So it's actually more interesting to me that they've not gone with that. Um, okay, I could throw down double tenor. Probably can't wait to see what I'd get through this. I'm gonna throw down one tenor. I'm gonna throw down the tenor because if they go forward in any way like to do like trades i will 100 and obviously bear in mind they could very easily throw down a time bomb never tried this chemical before. i'll wait <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wait so time bomb's not going to come down they could still go forward which means i can trade off some of these things 
They could even just leave this. Okay. Trade off the Lumen Telescope. Means that I've got space for these tethers. So, I am now hoping Heart of the Cards is with me. I can steal you. Like, Heart of the Cards, Heart of the Cards, Heart of the Cards. Give it all, give it all. Ah! No, give it all! Give it all for that four. That, that, that lovely four impact that we would have just put across the board. It's much upset. I could consider a stun. So I could consider... Stun. It's whether or not they're going to throw down um, Arsenal. Which could be a problem. Part of me is kind of thinking just go forward. I might end up regretting this just go forward gung-ho strategy. Because that's only four damage. Or five damage if you include the elusive. It's the knowledge that uh, Arsenal could drop with elusive to block my elusive is where I'm scared. Like that, that's the reason why I'm kind of just going all in on this attack is because if, uh, I mean, if Arsenal drops anyway, then all is lost. I mean, I say that. I say that. Potentially. Pokey stick for lethal. <laughs> Pokey stick for lethal, potentially. <laughs> If Arsenal were to, if Arsenal were to drop, so Pokey Stick for lethal. If Arsenal were to drop and they had life steal, we would have just shared a mode to my opponent. Still don't give it all, but it's okay. We didn't need it. Flash of brilliance that could save me. Save me. That doesn't save me. Okay. Say anything from you. Save me. That doesn't save me. Okay. Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me. 